Welcome back, everyone. We are now smoking the final blend. This is Soy Geek Shorts, and this is the La Aurora Preferitos uh, Blending Kit Seminar segment that we're doing. We smoke through all of the Peritos, so all four of the different filler tobaccos that make up the La Aurora Preferitos blend. We're smoking into the Cameroon wrapper and seeing how it all comes together. Yep. It's interesting how you... Uh, I'm not getting into that Peruvian saltiness. No. Um, there is a lot of sweetness, but a lot of that's coming from the wrapper, which also speaks to, in different cigars, how much the wrapper plays a role. Oh, yeah. You de we definitely didn't get this level of sweetness. Um, and this is... You know you're smoking Cameron with this. Um, but you're right. The saltiness, I'm not picking up from uh, at all. Not a lot of spice either. Very smooth on the retrohale. Yeah. Very smooth cigar. Uh, very pleasant uh, flavors yeah. and aroma on this cigar. This I is, could smoke these all the time in this size, dude. This is you let these age for a little while, and this kid has been aging for a little while too. So I tell you what, this is a fantastic cigar. Yeah, I mean, I've been trying to detect the flavors. It's not an easy thing, um, and I'm not going to claim. Yeah, I good luck picking out the flavors that you yeah. got in those burritos yeah. in the final blend. It's extremely like we were commenting before. It's very difficult, right? You know, and we were talking about you know. Adjustments of the of the uh, percentages of the tobacco that are in there are probably playing a role into that. You know, we're not these are not twenty five percent all the way through, as well as leaf placement. Right. So leaf placement and percentage of each filler changes typically per size. It could also change in this blend by the wrapper type. Yeah. Maybe they put a little more Dominican in the Cameroon wrapper. Maybe they put a little more Nicaraguan in the broadleaf, or I don't know if they do that specifically, but they could play around with it. They definitely do it per size, like you were saying, Will. Yep. Uh, and they could do it based on the wrapper as well. So they can tweak this um, blend of those four different tobaccos in, in a lot of different ways, not just with the percentages, but also the placement, yep. where in the filler they put each of the filler leaves. Exactly. You know, But the interesting thing with the kit, though, you do get an opportunity to go through the Churchill, which will have... Um, the same percentage. Maybe the, the placement's different. The but placement's does, different, yeah. probably. But yeah, you'll get the same percentage of, of that. Um, but in general, a, a blender is not going to just go slap a, cam a Maduro on a camera and then just leave it like that. Yeah. They're going to go through some some adjustments on that, uh, is what you'll typically find. The other thing, too, is we are, we're out smoking with a binder now as well. So there's a binder component. Yep to this cigar that you do not smoke as part of the kit. Typically, you don't smoke the binder by itself. I've asked many blenders that, and typically um, they won't do that. You may smoke it with just the binder on it without the wrapper to see how it burns and how it affects the, the flavor. Uh, and you do get to do that in this, uh, in this Churchill as well because it's got a little bit of a shaggy foot. So, you know, the first maybe quarter of an inch you on that Churchill, there's no wrapper at all. So you get to experience the fillers all together, Excuse me, with just the binder. Yeah, but we've always, you know, all the people we've talked to on Stogie Geeks, they talk about how important the binder is in a blend and how it's very, you talk about the concept of pairing. Pairing the binder with the wrapper is, is usually of utmost importance. And, um, you know, I've, I've talked to one manufacturer who's not a big, he said, I'm not a big fan of Ecuadorian, I'll say it with Steve Soccer. He's not a big fan of Ecuadorian Habano wrapper, right? Well, his cigar coming out has an Ecuadorian Habano wrapper. And I kind of said something to him, and he said, yeah, but remember what else I said? And I said, what? And he goes, the binder. Mm -hmm. He said, finding the right binder. And he found a some sort of a Mexican binder that he felt worked great with that blend. So, a lot of San Andreas binders yeah. that we're seeing lately. We're seeing it. You know, we just saw it on uh, Emma from uh, Senor yep. Cigars of Freya. Enrique Sanchez said he was using, I think, a Mexican yep. binder when his cigars New too. New Davidoff, you're in a monkey as well. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, it's definitely, you know... There's obviously some tobaccos that aren't wrapper grade that could make very good flavor enhancers with the binder. And that was, that's a good term, Will. The binder is a flavor enhancer. It's also there for a lot of the um, burning, uh, yep. to help the cigar burn well. Yeah, you don't want to just put your premium wrapper on that thing. And, you know, you, otherwise it's just not going to, you're going to probably have a combustion issue. So the, the binder is, it's serving a purpose in addition to flavor as well as, you know, with the combustion of your cigar. Yeah, and I want to make sure I tell everyone where they can get this fabulous kit for the low price of $50. You can call up the Havana Cigar Club at 401-287-4250. You get the kit with all the Peritos. The Cameroon Wrapped Preferito number three, did you say? Number three. It's a number three. You get the cutter, you get the lighter, you get the Churchill. 
You get that whole kit. You get the DVD. Yep. You get the PowerPoint presentation with all the good information on it. And uh, it's just a fa- I encourage all the Stewie geeks to, to do this because it's a lot of fun. Yeah, and if you do it, uh, email the show at the show at stogiegeeks.com. We'd love to hear some yes, comments absolutely. from that. We always appreciate the communication from our great audience. And what I found going through this again, I've forgotten how enjoyable it was to smoke all these different it, uh, paritos and I had a and ball cigars. doing this, actually. We, we've been going through for a couple hours recording this, but yeah. And it's not, you know, I think a lot of people might be turned off by uh, smoking the perito because of things they may have heard in the past. And I tell you what, I enjoyed every single one of those Peritos yeah. for the qualities that it had. Was, it wasn't tough to smoke. Was it tough for you to smoke? No, any of and them? I've it been wasn't. through some Peritos that are very tough to smoke. Try smoking a Pennsylvania one, Oof. you know, or something like that. It's They're rough. not as easy. Yeah. Yeah. So this was great. Again, 401 287 4250. Order up your blending kit. Tune into the Stoey Geek Show live every Thursday night, 8 30 p.m. Eastern time. That's stoeygeeks.com forward slash live. Will, I'm so glad you were here in yeah, studio. We'll to have this. to next time do the Churchill we'll do at the some Churchill point. Do next it. Time. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Very good. Thanks, everyone, for watching. Take care. So, Will, I learned this trick, right, from watching all these videos on the internet, because that's right. a lot of what I do. And you can snap your fingers, and, like, magic happens. Yeah, so, really? I, I'm going to snap my fingers, and we'll see what happens. Are you ready? Oh, uh, let's try it. Oh, my God. And we ended up in Stogie Geek's Halloween what outfits. The, what the this heck? is What are you supposed to be, Will? Stogie Vader. Stogie Vader. I love Stogie it. Stogie Vader. Well, you know, because this is G-Unit Studios, I thought I'd keep it gangsta. Well, uh, yeah, look at a little um, pimpin' look there. That's right. Yeah. Big pimpin', baby. Wow, that that did really work. I I I didn't think. You, you doubted? Know, did you doubt my skills, Will? I, I <laughs> you know, there's some magic in the G Unit Studios, That's obviously. Right. You know. <laughs> uh. Man, it worked good. <laughs>